Good afternoon, racing and sim fans. Racing 393 again. Um, right, so just going to do a quick run through of what I've done on my Kyosho MP5. Um, this is going to be part three. Uh, this is as far as I can get at the moment. So it hasn't all gone to plan. Like most things, they end up a bit, you know, off piste if you like. So, uh, first things first, I added all the carbon. So you can kind of see down there the front support. Um, there's one at the back there, sort of at the bulkhead at the top. The bottom one's still aluminium because uh, fiber light weren't supplied that particular part at the time. Seems bizarre. Seems quite instrumental as in if you're gonna do it you, you do the lower the lower sort of pin mount as well but anyway that's the standard uh, aluminium one I'm not saying that you could do a, you might better find a composite one of sorts can we slip then um, so that's that the other one's hidden under the bumper there which you can't see and uh, you've got like these these servo mounts which is all carbon fiber and the part on top which is just over there Braking, so the brake braking brace setup. That's also carbon fiber. Uh, front and rear shock towers as well. So that's done. Um, what else? Um, that's about it so far. You can see I've taken the the engine out. Um, I'm having real trouble here. So if anyone watches this video and they're Kyosho MP5 or 6 knowledgeable. I really would like to hear from someone, anyone. Now, the other chassis, as you on my other video, part part two of the video, there was a hole cut in the chassis, it's before I got it, and it was to accommodate, from what I can gather, the engine, because it had a pull start on it, and the pull start sort of comes down flush with the engine mounts that's you know the these are these what I'll call these chassis plates and the engine mounts are the ones that are on the side of the engine and because the pull start comes down to the flush with those it kind of catches or interferes with the mounts that's my take on it so whoever had the chassis before decided to cut a hole to alleviate where it was hitting, hitting the chassis. Now both the engines I've got, in fact all three engines I've got that could, could potentially go in this buggy are all pull starts. Um, which isn't a problem, but I'm having real issues with finding these engine mounts. Now you might think, well you've got them, there they are. Well there are some engine mounts and although they line up these are for the I can't remember the name of the engine now um, well I've got the engine that these mounts are supposed to be for and it still doesn't fit I can't get we do matter which orientation I put the, the engine doesn't fit square one of the one of the issues being is the fitting bolts so you can see there i've had to use that's like m4 wheel nut bolts nuts and the bolts that go through anyhow they are stick they stick up and you, you should have another one there and one on the other side but of course the engine goes fits in there and sort of gets in the way so you should have you know, those holes at the end of those plates are threaded. And you're supposed to have short blind bolts that go up and they sort of fit flush and they bolt in from the bottom of the chassis. Um, well, that's the main reason. I've got some original ones, which I've got them here. I'll just put them on the car here. Now these ones came off the car that had the cut chassis. So these are made by somebody and the problem with that is they fit and you can see that this one here would potentially go you know on the chassis like this and the cutout 
Now this is about three mil thick, but the cutout should allow allow room for the pull start to fit in between. Although I'm a bit skeptical on that, but that's one. That's fine. That's all. It's a bit close to the bone there. Look at that hole, and it's. I don't know if I. I don't know if it's threaded. I don't think so. So you can put a bolt on that. It, there was a bolt on that. It looked like it was held in with araldite or something. Something quite substantial. And the other side, uh, you can see there, that is, I'm not sure that's threaded, looking at it, but the other side, the bolt snapped off in it, and I haven't the means of getting that out. If I use a, a reverse drill, like a stud remover or something, and put the drill in reverse, maybe, I don't know, but it can see, it's supposed to, that obviously screws in there, because it's, the, the standard fixing. So I've got the I've got the plates. I just haven't got the means of repairing them ones or the correct ones there. So it's a bit of a head scratcher. I really could do with some standard plates. Maybe four mil or someone someone needs to make them. I'm kind of I could have made them myself years ago. I had all the equipment, but that's gone now and I don't have the I've got the ability but not the tools. So um, you know, I could take these plates here to an engineering place and say I want them in four mil or three and a half mil. But even then, I'm not so sure it would work. I think that the engine would foul on the back. Um, even if I turn the plates around, there is meat on the inside of that one there, so you could just got to cut a little bit, a, a bit of a chamfer out of that bit and that one there's facing the other way but you could you know you could fit the other, you could turn it around 180 degrees so that's where i'm at um yeah but everything else is done everything's very free moving now um the other thing was that these steering posts the inner inserts were rusted to shit i mean it's 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 inevitable something of this age. I said I might have said thirty years in my last video. I think it's more like twenty seven or something. But hey, you know you get the meaning. But they to get them out, I had to drill them out. And the were they bolt on the bottom of the chassis? There's one that side, one the other side. Um, the bolts are not exactly super tight. But I have bought a set of them from Germany, and that's cost thirty five quid. So. It does mount up. I don't want to keep spending on something I can't run. Um, what else? That's it, really. Um, so it's, I'm waiting for some sort of idea about this. I really could do with some help. And of as many as watch this video, two, three, four, you must be Kyosho knowledgeable. And I would appreciate some form of help um, or where to go, what I can do. Apart from what I've already said, I guess. And finally, um, the camera that I'm filming this with, I've actually sold on eBay. Well, it's going to be sold in the next few hours. So it's not the best made plan because I haven't got a replacement. Um, not very counterproductive. So this will, until I get another camera, this will be the last video for a short period of time. Um, my plan was to sell this, which I have. And get another one because I was I wanted one with a little bit higher resolution, a little bit more scope, maybe a bigger screen. Um, that I can, you know, this one this one works really well actually. It sounds okay. It's easy to use, um, but yeah, I've got to work on that as well. So that's into this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed what I said. Hope you can help. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'll see you in the not too distant future um, once I get a camera sorted. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you very much. Bye for now.